All right, let's go over crude oil real quick. We got non-farm payrolls coming out to, uh, today. I want to go over this setup, how we want to uh, um, uh, how we want to jump in with a setup with uh, with the trend filter, and we got the uh, uh, Fibonacci arrows right next to that. I put a uh, moving average on our market delta. Let me show you how you can get small stops. A lot of traders have a problem um, with pulling the trigger, meaning they don't know when to exactly. They know the area. They know we're in a, uh, a retracement, but they don't know when to exactly pull the trigger to the exact bar. I got a confirmation tool on Market Delta now that I put in the room for you, and it helps you out on confirming uh, if you are uh, should be getting into the market uh, based upon a retracement. This is a buy setup that happened yesterday, and here's a sell setup. First of all, we know how the trend filter works. I've done numerous videos at daytradingthefutures.com. Uh, you can just jump on there and play any video how the trend filter works. We know, so we know the buy setup, we were in an uptrend. The sell setup, we were in a downtrend. Everybody knows that because we look for an opposite color candle to come in on a buy or sell setup. In other words, let's go over the buy real quick, then we'll go over the sell. Here, here was the buy this, yesterday. So the market was in an uptrend. Here was our buy setup. We're in an uptrend. We got green candles, green candles, green candles, green candles. The market pauses because we had a red candle that printed. That tells us that the wrongly positioned traders are now in the market or counter trend traders. I want to try to buy this low. So I'm going to show you how you can do it with market delta over here, how to buy the low and sell, uh, I mean, sell the, buy the low and sell the high on a retracement with pulling confirmation. Now we know that once we get an opposite color candle that comes in on this chart, the counter trend traders are coming in. We want to look for over here on the symmetry dots, the blue ones, to look for a buy setup on the way on the upside. So this one matches up with the sell setup. Let me go to the sell setup. Here's what happened in the afternoon. You blow all three MAs. More importantly, you blow my smaller MA on the trend filter. Remember, this trend filter is very sensitive. It's got uh, uh, the trend of the market uh, that will keep you on the right side of the market if you get below that small MA. If you're below all three MAs, it's the strongest sell point or buy point in the market like we had here on the buy setup, you're above all three, the open versus close the candle, we just got screaming up, below all three, screaming down. When you get an opposite color candle that prints, that tells you you got the wrongly positioned traders coming in the market. That also educates you that you have a retracement trade coming up. You gotta look to sell the next retracement. The best way to do, right when I see the first green candle that prints, I look at my next chart over, and that this matches up with this sell setup. This, these are my SIM dots. My SIM dots are red. My SIM dots are blue. I don't even look at those until I, number one, get into a opposite color candle, or two, if I'm in chop, I'm looking for a breakout from them for a buy setup or sell setup. But I won't even look at this chart, this Fibonacci chart, until my trend chart sets a trade up. That's very key. Everything's off the trend chart. So once that sets it up, uh, you got a green candle. We knew to look for SIM dots. They come up and touch the red. Uh, sim dots with or without the arrow the arrow fires now you know you're in a Fibonacci situation uh, Fibonacci retracement so you're in a great situation to go short we always look at market delta then to confirm it well I put an MA on here to help you out because what this does this matched up at the same point in time what this does is it allows me to know if I get a candle close a body of the candle close not the whole body just a portion of the body it, see how it's now, on this retracement is with this retracement over here. See green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle. When I get a close right here below the small MA, it tells me that not only am I on my SIM dots and I got a retracement, that's a candle you want to pull yourself in at. So when this closes, you can open the position up at the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks below above right here, two ticks above the qualified pulling candle. So you, you got really small stops uh, uh, for trades like that. So that was your pull-in bar on that trade. So you can see it really is a nice way to pull yourself in the market because you knew that candle was a candle to pull yourself in. Let the trend chart set it up first. The SIM dots, you should be within a couple ticks of the SIM dots. If you're in a couple ticks of, of the SIM dots, if you get pulled in with this candle, that is an entry right there with a small stop. You can see we had a nice big move down. I'm actually going to go over this in a conference call coming up. It works on all markets. It's a really cool technique um, uh, that you can use. 
to, so you don't miss the big trades on a retracement. All right, so that uh, the conference call is February 14th at 5 p.m. February 14th at 5 p.m. I'll be over, going over the setup, but that's how you take care of this buy setup and this sell setup. You look for right when you get an opposite color candle, look for it to come within a couple ticks of sim dots right here, which it did. Once it comes with a couple ticks, you can use a pull-in bar, which you pull yourself in on the small MA if you need confirmation. Then you just don't have to go blindly in saying, hey, I got negative market delta right there. This gives you a confirmation of you got negative market delta and a pull-in bar. It's a real nice way to do it. It gives you confirmation for an entry. 